of uh, web service and also uh, we'll use uh, existing web service in this case I'm going to use a uh, Google web service for location uh, I mean uh, reverse geocoding for example uh, the uh, one of our last exercise we got a latitude longitude pair from a location listener so is there any way I can translate into a readable form I mean address format of course uh, this example uh, I mean, uh, you may have a little restriction until your the URL is being whitelisted, but I don't want to uh, put you guys on wait. So probably I'll introduce something else also, because uh, this exercise has a dependency over the next advanced topics. But you can try uh, up to a part where uh, you're getting a web service, uh, assuming a web service can be. Uh, manipulated from a local folder itself but this time I'm going to try from a live lo live location let you know from where I'm going to consume the web service Google Maps API web service which is uh, free for uh, development and uh, maybe uh, with the number of calls you make maybe some 3000 or 2000 API calls free rest is chargeable but for development that is more than enough so I'm only looking for something geocoding API in fact I'm looking for reverse geocoding API I mean API there is an example so this is the JSON response which is going to come from Google if I call this URL uh, I mean the URL in this form so the latitude and longitude pair has to be uh, encoded inside the URL itself and when you call this URL you get a JSON response I mean you can call a, if it is a, this, if you notice this URL contain a JSON format so it will give you a JSON format and uh, I hope there is a XML format also available uh, even though the doc does not explain it but XML format is also available so whatever format you want you can retrieve them by suitably forming the URL as stated here the last one you need to supply your API key that's where Google detects who is accessing their API so that uh, you can count how many API requests you are making uh, this is free for a development purpose that's what I said but it, Google requires you to register your application so per application maybe I'm assuming some 2500 API calls I mean uh, 2500 time per day you can access the URL anything goes above uh, it should be chargeable and of course Google will block it this is how Google makes some money so we cannot blame them so in this example we are going to see how to create this API one second uh, we are going to use async tasks to call this URL and we are going to retrieve a JSON response and we are going to uh, decode this JSON I mean parse the JSON which are coming from Google uh, I mean map API location and then I am looking for one particular tag called formatted address which gives me kind of a readable format that I would like to display in my app so using the latitude longitude I can find the readable formatted address so that's what my application is going to do now a uh, few things we need to know first part we need to uh, make uh, the API key ready before doing it because in fact if I try to call this URL through a browser gives me 
uh, an error stating that uh, the provided API key is invalid and request denied. So I need to have the API key ready at least for retrieving the exact uh, right response. You should have you should uh, have a Google account, of course. Uh, any Gmail account will do. There is a section which talks about API key and the information has been given here. Visit the API console at uh, so once I visit, uh, log in with your Google account. Click service link from the left hand menu and uh, in the API console and activating geocoding API service. So this particular thing you should uh, have it activated. Let me open in a new tab. I have already logged in using my Gmail account. So if you are logging using your Gmail account you will also get the similar screen otherwise you will be given a login screen and then you have to log. If you notice the available service in my login, it's, uh, saying, it's stating the direction API is already activated because I've been using it. Uh, I mean, uh, in this case, geocoding API. So let me see if it is active. Okay. In this, I have to go service. So what's the one they are asking us? Geocoding API. Geocoding API is turned off. So if you notice, I need to switch it on. Courtesy limit 2500 requests per day. So anything goes above to this limit, you, uh, you won't get the response. This is for commercial apps, which for example, once you are developing an application which requires in, uh, location continuously. Uh, accordingly, you can have a billing account set up with Google. If you notice a billing account is there anything goes beyond it's chargeable of course you have to set the billing account then only these things will get impacted but for a development purpose 2500 requests per day it's too much still because we won't make that many requests for on a given day so whatever necessary services which is uh, google is giving for you you can have it enabled accordingly so various application various uh, development i have something set on Google Map is DK for iOS, JavaScript, Geolocation API for Maps. I mean, so this is our charger, but if you notice, see. So, but in this case, what we have to enable is Geocoding API service. And is there any reverse geocoding in there? I let me verify because that may be required to be activated okay i don't see anything so what they asked geocoding api i have it set to on now i'm going to api access tab you have to generate your uh, key api key here if you notice various api keys already been created here under my account because it's some of my applications which is accessing them so if you notice, I already have a couple of API keys created for Android apps. So, this one API is ready for me, already available. But if you are doing it uh, from a scratch, I mean, if you are doing, if it is a new account, this particular section won't be there, where you need to, uh, at the bottom, there is an option for create new Android key. You have to start using uh, this particular dialog. Once you start adding them, it will pop up here. Uh, it will be displayed here. Okay, so what are these things and how to create this API key? First thing, once your API key is ready, you can attach it with the URL here like this. Sorry. This will only work in an Android phone. Of course, it won't work in a browser also. I can't even test it. If you see, I tried to give it this IP site or mobile application is not authorized to use this API key, for example, because I'm running on the browser. This URL should be called from an Android phone only, then only these things will work. Anyway, let us see how to create the API key. Since I have already created, I'm going to add uh, existing API key. 
So I'm going to use edit allowed Android API keys, which uh, already contains couple of uh, applications. I'm going to add one more at the end. That's what I'm going to create for my application. Before doing it, let us see the format. It looks like some sort of uh, encrypted keys and a package name which which is something is familiar if you see the package name so it may be our application package which i'm going to create but before that there is some keys are there if you notice the package name twice i have repeated and it it, it is paired with the different keys for example this one is different and another one is different and uh, maybe i have repeated the same mean your android uh, Eclipse packages for example when you connect your phone uh, or connect your phone or emulator when you hit run Android uh, sign your application with the debug key store I mean there is a default key store available using that it signs and install on the emulator or the phone when you hit run that key store key or maybe the checksum value is here the second one which you create your own customized key store which you will use it for packaging it and then you create apk and distribute to market and give it to market where others can use so that time you will use a different key store to create uh, and package your application so every time you may need to have two and how to generate them we will see it there are roundabout ways exist but easiest way also there if you notice The familiar step Android tool export signed application package. Ah, uh, this is popular. Let me disable for some time. Going to ignore all. This is for temporary, uh, I mean, restriction. So I'm just disabling the lint check because I know application works without and it doesn't have any errors. So I'm going to export signed application package. I've been given a screen where if you have already created your key store file, you can browse it. And I hope I already have a key store file called my key, something like that. The password what you entered will create your key store file and enter them and decide the destination. On the destination, if you notice, this checksum values are available. This is the one actually this particular screen requires. But this particular uh, certificate fingerprint, I mean, it's a kind of a, a verbally want to compare it, it's kind of a fingerprint, it's kind of a certificate uh, based on the key store file what you supply. So if you are supplying different key store, naturally every time the value will change. Or if you are using the same key store for all the application, you can use the same one. But uh, uh, Eclipse by default helps you to create such a uh, fingerprint file or the encrypted format. So that one you need to enter here. This is using uh, Eclipse built-in tool but in a command line also we can get these values. Because I said there is two key store values and one would be for debugging purpose which you are testing on the emulator. Second one is uh, the one which you create which you are uh, using that you are exporting your application create a apk file so you may have to have a two key store or two fingerprint uh, generated and then it could be added in the api keys or whatever uh, certificate generation here because on the test also we need to get a response because mostly we'll be testing using emulators so i cannot depend on this tool because it only helps me to 
see what is the fingerprint format for a given key store file how to create a key store file for a debug key store that also i need to see so in the command line i need to see but uh, android also gives you a example i mean the google saying that please execute this line key tool or something like that in that you can discover sh a1 fingerprint of your developer certificate using this command and that it actually wants you to enter here okay let me see that I'm going to copy them just a line so if you are using Windows go to command in this case uh, minus Mac I'm using terminal so command line you have to go and find your your uh, Java installation path where your Java is being installed you have to find